one of the hot seats this election, newly formed Singkang GRC, is turning into a key battleground, with recent events shining the spotlight on the Workers' Party candidates contesting there. I apologize to any racial group or community who have been hurt by my comments. What we're trying to deny them is a blank check. There was some debate about talking okay, about blank checks. Over the weekend, two police reports were made against WP candidate Raisa Khan in relation to comments she allegedly made on discrimination by Singapore's law enforcement authorities. I feel really passionate about minority issues regardless of race. And in my passion, I made improper remarks and I have to be accountable for them. I will fully cooperate in any police investigations. The PAP has called on the party to make its stand clear on her Facebook posts. WP said that they would look into her Facebook comments after police investigations. Party Chief Pritam Singh expressed his support on the night of the allegations. The WP team contesting Singkang GRC consists of Dr. James Lim, Ms. Raisa Khan, Ms. He Ting Ru, and Mr. Louis Chua. They will go up against the Labour Chief, Ong Chi Ming, Dr. Lam Pin Min, Mr. Amrin Amin, and Mr. Raymond Lai of the PAP. Official data last year showed that the vast majority of residents in the GRC live in four-room housing board flats or larger. More than 60% are aged below 45, and more than one in 20 is younger than five. Many here are middle-class families with parents to upkeep and uh, children to look after. So the pressures and the anxiety of job loss and even income drops are significant. As a gen NTUC, I'm in a good position to help them. Everyone knows that we've, uh, we comprise young parents, so all of our children are actually under four. So we feel that, you know, there are a lot of young families in Singapore, we're all living through the same uh, worries and the same joys together with them. So I think there's a natural fit. Singkang GRC is made up of the former single seats of Singkang West and Pongo East, as well as the Singkang Central Ward of Pasiris Pongo GRC. It is made up of the neighbourhoods of Anchorvale, Compassvale and Rivervale. Because we are a new GRC with new boundaries, the need for a new town council is very real after the elections and residents are concerned about the daily needs. Also, they are looking forward to Singkang Town Development and my team has the experience, the track record and a presented plan to Singkang residents of what we will do. A lot of residents have actually expressed concern that, you know, what would happen if, um, you know, an opposition gets elected into parliament. For that, you know, we can assure the residents that, you know, Workers' Party MPs, um, having had, you know, uh, experience taking over town councils in the past and taking over, you know, the, the role of MPs in a previously PAP held ward, we will continue to work very closely and even to sit on, you know, the various national level agencies to make sure that, you know, all these facilities actually do get built and do get completed in accordance to plan. Singkang West and Pongo East SMC have traditionally been WP's stomping grounds. The PAP won Pongo East by a slim margin in the 2015 election. We do not want to speculate what our chances are. We know that every single vote counts and that is why we want to, we want to work very hard to win every single vote. We know that our our trust uh, and the support from our residents cannot be taken for granted. We continue to ask the Sinkang voters to the extent that you can, if you believe in the values that we're pushing for, you agree with the policies that we are trying to advance in this election, then we ask you to make your vote count. Singkang's 117,546 voters will have to make the decision when they hit the polls on July 10th.